Hey guys, so there are a million videos in this in this manifesting space on YouTube telling you the basics about manifesting, uh, telling you the basics about, you know, what the process is and how to start the process. But there is a severe lack, I think, in real talk from people who have actually been through everything about what that actually looks like and how you actually do things like maintain uh, a mental state that is different from the one that you're used to being in that has produced a certain outer 3D world effect for you uh, that you want to change. Um, and so this is not easy. This is where all the work is. This is where it's hard. Uh, it's not all just a magical, uh, you know, fairy dust unicorn ride from point A to point B for many things, especially if it's something uh, in your life that's troubling. Um, back when my comments were open and my chats on Reddit were open and all that stuff before I shut it all down, locked it all down, I used to get a lot of messages from people who were in like a bad family situation. You know, that's the kind of thing where if you're sort of stuck in a situation, uh, it can be really difficult. It can be really hard. I mean, you, if you're confronted regularly with the things that you don't like, then, um, you know, how do you, you know, how do you stay in the state? How do you not give in to that? Sometimes it can feel like things are happening to the point where you just can't handle it. You know, you want to stay in that state, but you're just nailed too frequently with the unpleasant thing in your life you know, for you to just, you know, maintain this attitude. And I have a little, you know, I have a few little tricks in my bag, uh, things that have worked for me. And I wanted to just share one of them. This is really simple, but, and it's, it's actually kind of difficult to remember to do this, but I'm the type of person where if I have something negative in my environment, uh, my mind wants to go to it and solve it. Like I'm a problem solver. I don't know if there's a problem solver type of personality, but if there is, it's me to a T. Like, I'm like, what is this? Let's figure it out. What do we do about it? I'm ready to do something about this. Um, and so for me, when there's something I can't do anything about, it's really frustrating. And, and it's almost like uh, habitually, my brain will just go there. Uh, it, you know, it'll be like, it, it's, it's like my brain is constantly scanning for, is there a problem and can we fix it? And so if there is a problem that is not being fixed, it'll, it'll continuously like hit it on its scan. It's very annoying. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's easy if you're not present and conscious to just dwell there almost in the background. Uh, and it can just kind of ruin your day all the time. So like if you have a family situation, um, that is unpleasant there's you know you are stuck in a situation or you're not ready or willing to leave a situation um and there's something in your environment you don't like it, you know it can just your mind can just go there regularly especially if something's happening like every day so all i do is this is really simple all i do is just remind myself this can change that's it i just when my brain's going over and over well there's this problem there's this problem what do I do about this? I can't really do anything about this. I really hate this. I really hate this. Um, what shuts it up is just, and what shifts my personal, personally, what shifts my mood is just saying to myself, this can change and I don't have to know how. This can change. I don't have to figure out how. I don't have to make any decisions today, right now. This isn't an emergency. Um, this can change. Because one of the things about this whole process that you've lived through your whole life already, I guess unknowingly, for most people unknowingly, uh, is that, you know, situation, you know, situations tend to resolve themselves. You know, that's um, uh, problems have a way of resolving themselves. This is a cliche that we've all heard. Uh, and they do. And when, when it's time for you to act or figure something out, it's, it's obvious generally. You know, if you sit around trying to figure out a problem or figure out the way from point A to point B for something, especially if it's something that's bothering you, you know, the fact that it's bothering you, <clears throat> that you're in an emotional state about it, uh, is a very, uh, it's a clouding, um, it, it clouds your judgment. It's, it makes things, you know, your, your emotions being all up in a tizzy you're not seeing clearly anyway. So job number one is to return to a state of peace. For me, 
this can change and I don't need to know how. Um, that Those are the magic words for me that, that do sort of an instant shift mentally. If I'm like really like mired in thinking about a situation and it doesn't seem like there are any solutions or that the only solutions are not what I would want or are, are bad. Um, rather than trying to figure out a solution and then manifest that solution, uh, just this can change. All these problems that I'm viewing could be gone really quickly. I just don't know how. So this can change. I don't need to know how. What I need is the mental shift. And that usually does it for me. That usually uh, takes me out of that place and puts me into a more peaceful one. And then from there, I can just see more clearly, exist more peacefully. And when there's something to do, then the vision isn't clouded by these emotions. And you can see what needs to be done. Or sometimes beautifully, something just happens and it changes everything. And you, you know, you realize that you really never needed to figure out in the per figure it out in the first place. You just needed to relax and like go clean your room and not worry about it. And the solution would present itself eventually. How many times in your life have you had that? You worried and worried and worried about a situation and then it didn't even happen. Or you tried and tried to figure something out and then some random event that you never could have seen or some random solution that you never could have thought of just presents itself seemingly out of nowhere. So really uh, the key, the key to this particular state of mind is just finding a way to set it aside. And so for me, this can change or the three is this can change is our, the three magic words that, um, I mean, it, I can go from ha like being in a terrible mood about something to going, oh, why am I even thinking about this? Why am I even worrying about this? This can change. This isn't some hard and fast situation that uh, is set in stone that I must now navigate around all these stone statues that are in my way. This whole situation, it's like recognizing that things are fluid and not as solid as they seem to you when you're in this state of mind. I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, I think this applies to a lot of situations for a lot of people. Uh, you know, things seem like it's like, I hate my job. I hate my boss. I hate this aspect of what I'm doing. I, you know, I just, I hate that I have to do this thing in the morning to get to work. I just, I hate this whole situation. It is what it is. I'm gonna have to solve all of those problems. And then, you know, something that you never even thought of happens. And all of a sudden, you know, like how many people were hating their jobs, feeling like they had to figure it out, had to come up with a solution, and then COVID hit and everyone's working from home. How many people's job uh, situation, hatred of their job was changed like overnight because of COVID. There are so many random things that can happen to fix your problems. There are so many, you know, it existing in the state of there are so many things that could solve this problem for me is, it's just, it's a way out of that mental state of, of feeling miserable and obligated and responsible to figure it out yourself. I don't know, I hope this helps somebody today. Uh, I'm going to go uh, do my workout and listen to some more of Tim Grimes's videos. I'll link to his channel again below. He's my favorite YouTuber um, and a friend of mine. And uh, I hope you enjoy his channel and have a great day.